Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we are going to be recapping Winter House Season 3, Episode 2, Pirate Ships and Situationships. Schwartz arrives this morning, and as he's walking through the door, he's talking in his confessional about how the Sandoval affair really affected their lives and their businesses. Corey, Kyle, and Schwartz grab their snowboards and head to the top of the mountain outside their rental. Well, it's more like a hill and Casey comments that it's not steep enough to snowboard down. But that doesn't stop the guys. Once they get to the top, Corey asks Shorts about his life. He says, what's going on in your life, besides the whole affair stuff? And so Shorts talks about the affair stuff. He talks about how it's affected him personally, and how everyone just assumes that he knew about the affair. But he only found out a month before. They attempt to snowboard down the hill, but it turns out Casey was right, and they just keep falling. It wasn't steep enough for snowboarding. Despite Alex's immediate interest in Jordan, it seems that Jordan is way more interested in Corey. The whole house goes out for dinner, and Schwartz brings up his ex-wife Katie. He will constantly bring up his ex-wife and the Sandoval affair throughout the season. It seems like he doesn't have much else going on, I guess. But he brings up his ex-wife Katie and talks about how he wants to be friends with her still, even though they're no longer together. And Danielle shares that sentiment of wanting to be friends with your ex. The table talks about how long it's been since their previous relationships. And Corey says that his last relationship was before 2020. Malia points out that he's in a situationship right now. And Corey says that he and Sam aren't exclusive. Then Malia asks if he plans to be exclusive with her. And Corey just replies that he doesn't know. Jordan then asks Corey if he's seen other people since he started his situationship with Sam and he says he hasn't started seeing other people yet. Despite all the hotties in the house, they decide to do a hot lap around the bar, which I guess is like slang for going around the bar and hitting on anybody you find attractive and getting some numbers. They get home around midnight, and they are still partying. Brian asks Danielle how she's feeling and if she's getting over her ex, and Danielle is understandably annoyed. She's like, why do people keep bringing up exes? because she's trying to get over the heartbreak. Kyle then attempts to play real-life Fruit Ninja and cuts a watermelon in half, then hits a glass. Corey and Malaya are looking at her Instagram, and Corey's making comments about how great her butt looks and how if she was on Tinder, he would swipe right on her. Which the compliments to her butt are understandable. I mean, those yachties are in shape. Actually, everybody in Winter House is in shape. The next day, Shorts actually wakes up early and he cleans the whole kitchen. Casey joins him and they start talking about owls and the snow, and then Casey tells him that she found an owl in her backyard that she plans on taxidermying. They then discuss some morbid stuff about cemeteries, ghosts, and all that kind of stuff, and then Casey talks about how she did her history paper on how the Civil War modernized funerals. And I would be lying if I said I didn't want to read that. Or, well, rather, have someone read that to me. I can't look at a block of text and read that. That's awful. <laughs> I won't remember anything. Alex again shoots his shot with Jordan. He just keeps trying, and she just keeps rejecting him. She's way more interested in Corey. Despite Corey only showing affection to Malia, not really flirting with Jordan. Schwartz and Katie go grocery shopping for the house, and on the drive there, they talk about how they're both open to love, and Schwartz talks about how he misses being married and stuff. It's kind of an awkward conversation considering Katie has a huge crush on Schwartz. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Corey, Brian, Danielle, and Alex all go hiking and biking. And it's clear that Alex does not have the stamina of the rest of them. He can barely keep up, and he is breathing hard. They finally get to the top of the mountain, and Brian talks about his desire to pursue Casey. Corey tells him to pull it back a little bit. Play hard to get. Because people love games, apparently. Then Danielle tells Alex that she would be more interested in him if he didn't pursue her so hard. And at first when I was listening to her, I thought she was talking about Jordan. Like, Jordan would be interested in him if he didn't pursue her so hard. But she's talking about herself. And then they flirt, like, a little bit over it, which is kind of strange to me. Because it definitely doesn't show Alex pursuing Danielle hard. He's pursuing Jordan hard. Unless they just didn't have that in the edit, I guess. Schwartz and Katie return with the groceries, and it's all hands on deck to put those things away. It's pirate party night, and Malia and Katie are coming up with questions for the little game for tonight. Jordan says in her confessional that she's not really into Alex, but Alex would be a great match for Danielle to help her get over Robert. Jordan then encourages Danielle to pursue Alex. The group gathers to play the question game, and Schwartz pulls Bang, Mary, Delete. 
Malia immediately sacrifices herself. She's like, Schwartz, I take one for the team. Just take me out. It's fine. It's fine. And he says that he would bang Jordan and marry Katie. Brian pulls who would you kiss, which is a question that apparently has a gold thing on the bottom, so everyone has to answer it. Taking in what Corey said earlier, Brian decides to play a little game on Casey and picks Jordan to kiss instead of Casey. Jordan doesn't kiss him (laughs) because she's not interested in Brian. I feel like if Brian would have chose Casey, maybe they would have gotten a little smooch. Because following that, (laughs) Jordan answers and she says she wants to do a three-way kiss with Danielle and Alex. So they do a little three-way smooch. It was it was very strange, honestly. <laughs> Kyle, being married, answers he would kiss Shorts, and him and Shorts do a little peck on the lips, and then they go, ah, like it's a big deal. Later that night, Alex and Danielle go into the hot tub, and Jordan is so happy for them. She wants her girl to get some. She then tells Malia that this gives her the go-ahead to pursue Corey, which is what she wanted anyway. And Malia's like, go after it, girl. We end the episode with Alex and Danielle making out in the hot tub. Of course, that's where people make out, the hot tub. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for joining me on this recap of Winter House Season 3, Episode 2. Tell me in the comments what you thought of today's episode. What did you think of Schwartz joining the house? Do you think Corey and Malia are gonna, you know? (laughs) And do you think Alex and Danielle's situationship is gonna end badly? Spoiler alert. It does. It really does. It ends so badly. Oh my god. But anyway, (laughs) I'll catch you next episode. Bye guys! Schwartz arrives this morning and it isn't... They they then discuss some morbid stuff about like... They... They... But...